Hey! So today I'm going to be talking about airbrushing your brows. This includes tips and how to get your perfect shade. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Alright, so airbrushing your brows. A few tips I'm going to go ahead and explain to you and walk you through the tips as I show you how I airbrush my eyebrows. So here we go. So the first step you want to do is just take a spoolie brush to your brows and go ahead and comb them through. For one, it keeps them nice and groomed and keeps all of the hairs going in the same direction. And for two, if you do your brows after your foundation, it kind of gets rid of some of that pigment that might be oversprayed from that. Next, you want to take your brow shade. Now, I have a custom brow shade that I'll talk about later. Then you want to pick a stencil. Now, this stencil obviously is the wrong one, so I went back and grabbed the correct one, and I just lined it up like so. So first things first, you start with the arch, and you just go ahead and fill the color in like so. Then you want to do the tail end of your brow, and go ahead and fill that in as well. Then instead of doing the front end of your brow, you're going to go ahead and leave that, because I don't like sharp edges, so if you're like me, you don't like sharp edges just go ahead and clean off your stencil and start on the arch on your other brow a little hard to see here with the glare of the light but eventually I got it right so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the arch like so and this brow I actually had a little bit of trouble filling in so you'll see what I do to correct it here I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the tail end and then you want to make sure to utilize your stencil to go ahead and get the fullness or the thickness that you want to your brows. So here I'm just adding that line just to make it a little thicker there on the arch. And voila, it's perfect. So just go ahead and use that, utilize the stencil to the shape that you want. Not necessarily to the shape that the stencil comes as. Because once again, stencils are just a guide to help you do your makeup to your um, liking. So after I'm done doing the arch and the tail end, I'm just going to go ahead and work on the front end. Now I like a more natural front end of my eyebrows, so I'm just going to go ahead and freehand that, just lightly pulling back on the lever, sporadically of course, to go ahead and release small amounts of pigment, just to lightly fill in that area. I'm using a shield just to protect the under area of my brow, just so I can avoid overspray and I won't have to clean up with a q-tip or anything. If you do overspray, just go ahead and saturate a q-tip in a little bit of water and go ahead and correct the line and then apply concealer over it if you have already done your eye makeup like I did and if you follow all of these tips then you should end up with the perfect shaped brows for your face shape so now let's get on to choosing the right color so now that you've got a few tips on airbrushing your eyebrows I want to talk to you about picking the right shade for your eyebrows now when you're picking the right shade, it's really important to go ahead and stick to a shade that matches your current hair color. Now, so nowadays, a lot of the times, we don't really have our natural hair color. So there are ways to go ahead and match your brows to your current hair color. So the brow shade that I use is actually a custom shade that I mix, which is a one-to-one -one ratio of light smoke and jet black. Now originally light smoke was the shade that came in my kit that was the recommended brow color for me. I did find that however the light smoke was just a little bit too light and in pictures where there was a lot of sun um, it, it almost looked a little bit like gray. So I wanted to go ahead and deepen that color a little bit so I decided to add jet black one day and I found out that it worked out great. So instead of mixing those two colors each and every time I just took one of my old bottles, cleaned it out really good with distilled water of course, and I went ahead and purchased two extra sizes and just mixed them in, put half of that and half of this, and I have my perfect brow shade. So if you go to airbrushmakeup.com, if you hit on shop and then hit on the makeup link, it'll show you sections of what the colors are used for. Now in the section that I believe is lashes, liner, and something else, they should have, I think it's brows, lashes, and liner, they should have some colors there. Um, blonde is one of the colors, so is light smoke. And jet black, jet black is normally a liner color, but like I said, I mix it in with my light smoke to create the perfect brow color. And if those colors don't work for you, then go outside the box here and pick up maybe dark brown. I've used medium brown on my sister because she's got like, you know, this medium brown tone to her hair now. I mean, there's just so many colors. There's such a huge range of colors that they offer that you should not have a problem at least finding the base color for 
your brows. If you do find a color that matches your hair color, that's perfect. If you don't, you just need to make sure that you find the base color because once you have the base color, you can darken it by adding jet black or you can lighten it by adding just white. So that being said, I hope this video was helpful and if you have any more questions, concerns, or comments about airbrushing your brows, please put them in the comment box below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.